So I've got this idea on making a little man or a little patriotic man out of nothing but what I got up here, which ain't much. This stuff right here. A welder, some paint, and a few tools. So the first order of business, I got to clear this coating or paint or water, whatever that is off of this piece of tubing. So what I typically do is, this is going to be the body, and I'm going to have a flag stick stick out, something like that, and the body can rotate around this bowl. It's pretty hot right now because I just heated it up and then wire brushed the uh, paint off of it. So this is going to be the body of the man, the head. There'll be some legs down here. I found some key stock. It's going to be the flagpole. So my little guy here has got to have hands to hold up the flag stick. So now i got to measure where they're going to be. Yeah, about that long. Got this old piece of used rebar. And yeah, we'll cut two pieces about that length.
So I'm gonna grind some flat spots on these for hand, kind of like hands or make it look a little neater. And we'll get him tacked on. I got a little arms tacked on. You see what's going to happen when I get a flag attached to the end up here. This thing will just spin around. That's kind of going to be his head. Anyway, we'll keep going. What I want to use is these railroad points, railroad spike points for his legs. So we'll see how that goes. So instead of using these railroad spikes, I came up with this other idea of using these, wherever these bolts came off of. It gives me kind of a boot. So let's give that a go. These are really greasy. I'm going to have to clean them up really well. So my brother had a scrap yard and he had a bunch of these drops that he got from somewhere. Somebody sold them to him. So anyway, I'm going to use this as a base. So I have these legs attached temporarily, just a little heavy tack. I gotta keep a fan running. It's like 85 degrees and 45% humidity down here. Okay, let's do some heavy tacks on his feet. So now I'm going to do some weld build up right here and here 
just kind of make it look like he's attached to his arms or his body or whatever. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so kind of what I'd like to do, I'm going to sit and let this cool a while, build a little dome over his head, give him a little hat, like a G.I. Joe hat or something, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, there it is, next step is painting. Painting is complete. And the next step will be mounting the flag. Well, that's easy peasy and I'll show you the finish.